Back to the club right quick. Um, what is the wildest thing, as a bottle waitress, what's the wildest thing you've seen or experienced in the club? So. There we go. Um, Take a deep breath. Yeah, no, because this is a lot. I just started back talking about this. Um, I said I was actually going to make a video about it. So back in 2020, so 2020, right when COVID had just started, it was March 2020, Friday the 13th. Mm, spooky. Yeah, no, it was real spooky. Um, I was working at White House, and we had Mulatto there. Mm -hmm. So this is when she was just, like, popping. Like, okay. everybody was fucking with her back then. Yeah. Club was packed wall to wall. Like, you couldn't move. Like, White House had it where you had to, like, stay on the couches and shit. Okay. Like, you could not see the floor. That's yeah. how packed it was in there. Um, But I had somebody hit me in the face with a Hennessy bottle. On, like? Purpose. On purpose. A, yeah. a guy or a woman? It was a guy. Did not know him. Just out of nowhere, he... Um. So there's a lot of different stories that happen with that. Uh -huh. But, you know, back then, they were, they were really big in Charlotte on the cages. What, cages, cages inside like the club? Cages like that you lock your, um, your bottle, your liquor oh, bottles okay. in. Because in North Carolina, you can't hold your liquor bottle. Versus, like, in South Carolina, you can hold your own bottle and shit, keep it at the table. Really? I didn't know that. So um, the guy, his... Like, how we're sitting... Um, my section was over here. He was over there, but I wasn't his waitress over his table. Mm -hmm. And he actually came up to me and he asked me for, you know, a shot out of his bottle. Mm -hmm. Now I'm very big on, I do not mess with another bottle waitress's table. Like that's mm -hmm. just like code. You don't do that. Yeah. You don't go and mess with another waitress table. If you need, if a table needs something, you go get that waitress or okay. let them know. Like I'll let your waitress know type shit. Yeah. Um, so he asked for a shot. I told him I couldn't give it to him, but I'll get his waitress or whatever. Fast forward, he had ended up calling me a bitch. Mm. And at this time, I was real, like, rowdy at okay. this time. Like, I'm in the nightlife. Like, I'm learning people. Like, people didn't really know. Like, people knew me, but they only knew me in the club. Nobody ever saw me outside the club because okay. I was just school or club. I yeah. didn't like people in my business. Yeah. And... I stood on top of the couch and I was like, bitch, like who the fuck you calling a bitch? Mm -hmm. And he was just like, you. So when I look up, next thing you know, I see him Hennessy. Like as soon as I blink, bottle hit me in my face. Wait, he he did he throw it or he actually just smacked you with no, it? No, he threw it. Like how wow. far? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like from the door to like me, that's how close he was with the bottle. But it happened so fast. When he hit me, like, I just blacked out. Like I saw blood. Like Oh, I looked shit. at him and saw blood and I was like, oh, it's go time. Now I yeah. really got to show you like who the fuck I am. Yeah. But my adrenaline was going so bad. I didn't realize I was bleeding from the mouth. I Damn. did not know. Like, so when I got hit, he's running. And mind you, usually there was security like on the stage and stuff. They weren't mm. even on the stage. Mm. Security wasn't around. I don't know where the other waitress went. And so... I end up like chasing a nigga. Yeah. All through the club. Like there was like this back area where the sections were. I don't ran through there, but I see people looking at me like I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, I know I'm crazy. Yeah. But I don't know that I'm bleeding at the mouth. So now I got other the security guards coming out of nowhere and they was pulling on me. And what they do to him? Oh man. But we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. So now I'm running through the club. The waitresses is like telling me that I'm bleeding and I'm just like, bro, like, I don't give a fuck. Like, mm -hmm. my journal is going, get this nigga right now. Like, he just hit me. Yeah. So now his other homeboys, one of his homeboys tried to throw a Corona bottle at me. Like, at this point, everybody's just throwing bottles at me in the club and I do not know why. Mm. So now we're chasing him out the club and, um, Shout out to Noah. Um, Noah was one of the owners of the club, and he actually was trying to, like, calm me down. But when we all went outside, like, Mecklenburg County was already out there. Mm. So he's telling, like, Noah's sitting there telling him, like, you need to get this nigga. Like, yeah. he just assaulted one of my waitresses. Right. And the other management and stuff, they're inside the office. They're all trying to get me inside. And mm. I'm just like, no, like, this man hit me. Yeah. And, um... So they end up getting me in the office. One of the waitresses that I'm still close with to this day, her name is Electra. Um, shout out to Electra. That's like my, she's my mom of the nightlife. That's a like nice she's name. The, she's the OG. Like I respect her so much. But she, um, she's in there with me, like holding my legs down like this because I'm shaking like yeah. that. And she's like, I need you to calm down. Next thing you know, I pull, I calm, I pull up my phone and I'm about to call somebody on FaceTime and I see my face. Mm, and it hit you. 
it all it just stopped. I felt all the pain. It was just like a bunch of blood. I was yeah. missing teeth. Damn. I had teeth chips. It was bad. A like, Hennessy was, bottle is thick. And then, you know, bottle. and you know what's crazy? The bottle didn't even bust when it hit my face. Yeah, uh, if it would have bust when it hit your face, it then that would have been bad because a Hennessy bottle is thick. It would have been worse. Like it was so bad. So it was to the point where um they end up having the waitresses like some of the other waitresses went to go clean up or whatever like that. But it was so I was so hurt because one, I was supposed to be going to Mexico the next day. Oh man. So my whole trip got canceled. Yeah. And then on top of that, like one of the waitresses found my tooth on the ground. And she like when she brought my tooth to me, yeah. that shit sunk in. Yeah. Like I know that shit fucked you up. What the fuck? And I yeah. used to like granted now I still got a pretty smile, but it was just like I was so I was such a smiling person back mm. then. So I was just like, bro, I'm fucked. Yeah. Like this is my face. Mm. So they ended up having to rush me on the ambulance truck because I lost over six ounces of blood just from my mouth. Damn. I got to the hospital. They did x-rays and stuff. I had uh, from security pulling on my arm and everything like that. And me trying to fight and swing at the dudes. Um, Cause it was like five dudes. I was trying to buy, fight by myself. Yeah. Um, I ended up having like a bruise. I had a bruised shoulder. Um, I had a cut on my arm. They ended up having to wrap my arm up and shit. Like it was bad. And then because of how my mouth was, I was missing so many teeth. Like I wasn't missing that many. I was probably missing like four, but it was like between being missing and like fractured and stuff. Mm hmm. I had to have my mouth wired shut. Mm. So I went like from your teeth or was your jaw? No, injured? my teeth. Damn. Like it was that bad. Yeah. Like and make it all crazy. This was during my senior year of college. Oh man. I'm a social work major. Like I got mm. my internship. I got senior paper. I got senior presentation. Mm -hmm. Like social work is a very big deal in college. Like at Smith, you have to be interviewed in order to even have it declared as your major. Damn. Like, they do not play. You can't just choose that shit. Right. So, even if you, like, if you don't get accepted in the program, you got to find something else that goes with your electives that you just took for the first two years. Mm -hmm. So, I ended up having to tell, like, my professors and stuff about it. And my professors, like, they were there for me, but it was like, you still got to do your presentations. Mm -hmm. So, I'm high as hell off of Oxy and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, at this point, we don't went virtual. So I'm high as hell off of Oxy in the bed like this, mm. trying to do a senior presentation. Luckily, mm. I passed all my classes and stuff, but it was just like, I went through so much. Yeah, that's tough. So like, that's what ended up also making me leave Charlotte. Because it was just like, they never caught the dude mm. that ended up doing it. Because yeah. like I said, Mecklenburg County was outside that night. And they just... They didn't... They, let, they literally let this man walk away. Damn. And the owners and stuff was pissed about it. Like, they was doing everything they could. So, like, shout out to the whole, like, White House management at the time. Because they were literally, like, pulling camera, doing whatever they needed to do to try to, like, help me get this dude. But he never got caught. Mm. So, I ended up going back home. My mom didn't feel like I was safe in Charlotte at the time. They didn't know if somebody followed me home because I was staying by myself. So, then I was... I can't. I went back to South Carolina, but after a while, I just missed Charlotte. Like mm -hmm. I was already living on my own. I didn't want to be back at home. Yeah. So that's when I ended up moving. I ended up meeting my dude, and I was just driving back and forth. And then I moved back in late October and been back ever since. Nice, nice. Well, that's one of those things where <laughs> where, where where God gonna handle it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As far as him getting away, that's some fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? For, yeah. Because you and your feelings to do any type of. Even if you argue with a with a woman over because you and your feelings, but let alone to assault or throw a bottle, yeah, that's some fuck shit. God definitely got him. He probably not even probably. I know he got dealt with in the worst way. Yeah, I know you would have liked hope. to have. Yeah, I know you would have liked to have been a part Listen, of it or seen it. My South Carolina girl was ready to come out. Like yeah. I was blacked out. Oh, like man. my brother, I ended up having to call my brother on Facetime, mm -hmm. and he was on campus. Uh. At the time, and usually like Smith to White House was probably like, it was around the corner. It wasn't too far. My yeah. brother got there in like three minutes. Mm -hmm. Three yeah. goddamn minutes. And he didn't want to talk to nobody. Like right. he was pissed. Yeah. On go. I wish, Um, shout out to my dog Gleesh, my homie Gleesh, little bro. He, um, well, big little bro. He bigger than me. He a security guard. And he be he be slapping shit. He be stealing on shit all the time. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> that's my he be, he be sending videos like, bro, look how I just had to handle this fuck nigga the other day. I'm like, yo, this nigga. It be crazy in the club, yeah. but it's just like now, like since my experience, like I don't trust nobody in the club. I get it. I don't trust nobody. Like if my 
if my dude not in the club or like some of his friends that I actually trust, mm -hmm. I don't trust nobody. Yeah, makes sense. Because after what I've been through, it's just like, I don't know y'all true intentions. Like I had people I trusted in and look what the fuck happened to me. Now you want me to trust you? Yeah. Fuck no. That's heavy. That's heavy. Mm -hmm. And it does suck when you like in a situation like that with someone you trust or fuck with and they don't, uh, they don't have your back and it's, nah, let me not even go down that road. <laughs> It's just, uh, nah, yeah, I ain't going no. to tell that story. Um, but since you were speaking on your dude, to speak on uh, more lighter topics, um, how long have you been together? 